somewhere in central London. A meeting in an undisclosed location. The people around this table are threatened with death. All are ex-Muslims. They've chosen to publicly leave Islam, some of them openly showing their faces. During the past um, couple of decades, we have seen how uh, um, you know, religion in action, in power, you know, and how uh, devastating it can be for people's lives, how it, at odds it is incompatible with people's happiness. For many, it all started with 9-11. It was 9-11 that made me think, no, this is going too far and something has to be done about it. Last June, the British Council of Ex-Muslims was born. These apostates of Islam have multiple claims. The upholding of human rights, strict separation of religious affairs from political ones, and above all, the freedom to choose one's religion, to criticize it or to recant it. It's basically an organization of people who've renounced religion, and in particular Islam. And um, they're doing so publicly as a way of breaking a taboo that comes with renouncing Islam because it is punishable by death in many countries under Islamic law. Islamic laws that some would like to see applied in Britain. The threat is real. Are you bitch? Uh, what, do you, what do you think of yourself, you bloody bitch? You are uh, spreading the misinformation campaign. You will have to pay for it, you bitch. The religious representatives, on the other hand, display far more understanding. At the Finsbury Park Mosque, positions have changed considerably since the London bombings. Respect and understanding prevail. We have to agree that as people like our religion, some people might dislike our religion and leave it. In both cases, there are still people. They've got a level of humanity and a level of brotherhood. Nevertheless, some of the faithful are not as tolerant. They do not like cameras. Yeah, we don't want to talk. We'll move them. We want followers. They do not like non-believers and will go as far as challenging what has been said by the Imam. If the Imam says that, if he doesn't have a knowledge about the politics part of the Quran, yeah, then uh, he's he's not he's not qualified to comment. Is this the silent majority or simply the unwanted fringe of a moderate Islam? Either way, nothing will stop Maryam Namazi in her fight. With 90 members, memberships for the British Council of Ex-Muslims have tripled in six months.